Clue, a game of mystery, investigation, and murder. In Clue, you are a guest to a party in a fabulous mansion, during which something tragic has happened. There was a murder. With a killer amongst you, it is your mission to find out who did it, with what weapon, and in what room. At the start of the game, everyone gets the clue split between them. The players must investigate by going from room to room, making suggestions as to who done it with which instrument of catastrophe. You roll the dice, move your piece to the room where you think the foul deed occurred, and make a suggestion. Once your suggestion is made, if someone has one of the items you stated, they must show it to you, so you can mark it off your list of possibilities. Once you've ruled out any other possibilities, or before, you can make an accusation. If you are right, you win the game, and the culprit goes to the big house. And there was much rejoicing. If you're wrong, you are out of the game, and the killer has one less investigator to worry about. To win the game, you must make the right accusation. If nobody manages to do so, then the only winner is the murderer. Well, I'm going to make a suggestion. I think it was Professor Plum in the dining room with the candlestick. Oh, I do declare. I feel positively punished. I'm not going back to that room again. Miss Scarlet's goal was to guess right, but she was shown the dining hall isn't the right room, thereby decreasing her behavior of guessing in that room again, making this a punishment. Since we added the punishment of showing her she was wrong about the dining hall, it is a positive punishment. Oh dear me. I'm rather close to the kitchen. I think I'll go there. Rolly roll. Do, beep, beep, click, clap. Oh, well, that was rather rewarding. I think I'll do that again. Mr. Green's goal was to get to the kitchen, so he rolled the dice to get there. He rolled high enough to make it there, which reinforces his behavior of rolling the dice. Because the roll he wanted was added to his situation, this is positive reinforcement. However, the rules state that he must roll the dice every turn regardless. So is the behavior really increasing? It's a mystery. Well, I suggest it was Miss Peacock in the kitchen with the rope! Hmm. Oh! Well, that narrows it down for me. I think I'll try that again. Here is a better example. Mr. Green's goal was to narrow down possibilities by making a suggestion. He's given a clue which does just that, so his suggestion making behavior is reinforced by adding a clue which makes it a positive reinforcement. I believe I know who the culprit is. Oh, well that's unfortunately negative. I'm out of the game. Mrs. Peacock guessed wrong, so she loses the game and has to wait till somebody either guesses right or they all lose. She could have just made a suggestion, but she thought she had the answer before she had ruled out all other possibilities. Since we are taking away what she wanted to win the game, she has been negatively punished. She won't be making that same mistake anytime soon. It was you! No! <laughs> What on earth was that? I better find this killer before it gets me too. I suggest it was Miss Peacock in the kitchen with the ranch. Miss Peacock. Oh my. Well. 
At least I won't have this blank spot on my card no more. Miss Scarlet's goal was to narrow down her clues. She found out that Miss Peacock obviously wasn't the killer. Since she was able to remove the aversive stimulus of the blank space on her card by checking it off, she has negatively reinforced her behavior of suggestion making. The game of Clue requires the cognitive skill of making a list of acquired evidence. It is open because it must change based on the circumstances of the game. If it were closed, you could make the exact same guesses every time in the same pattern. But as every game is different, you must be able to change your strategy depending on the clues that are available to you from the beginning. Clue also requires semantic skills as you must be able to keep track of different bits of information on your card and state your accusations. As you learn different strategies and skills, it will take more and more time to learn the nuanced ones. This is known as the power law of learning. But what happened to our players? Well, that was invigorating. Indeed, I just feel so bad for Mrs. Peacock. Well, I have a confession to make. It was me in the kitchen with the wrench. Imagine that. Looks like I win.